and welcome back we have the goody projector um and we're gonna go through some of the features hopefully you guys have gotten this one because this one is actually super nice if you guys are brand new to the channel make sure you guys do consider subscribing i am during the daytime recording this thing and you guys are gonna see how this thing looks i have it here in the corner next to the the light there and you can see that's where I have the projector. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you guys did get a projector or anything like that. Um, yeah. Check it out. <laughs> Check that out. It looks so good. I'm telling you, it's bright daylight here next to that window. And it looks pretty clean. Okay. We're going to come here to the settings. And you got Wi-Fi settings, Bluetooth settings, projecting, projection settings, um, and other settings. So we're going to go to projection settings and... If you have your projector upside down, you could come here and flip it upside down or whichever mode that you have. So this says front desktop. So desktop means like if, if, if I'm facing it from the front, the next one says uh, rear desktop. So this is if you are from the back, if you're projecting it from behind uh, the screen. The next one says uh, front ceiling. So this is if I'm facing in front of it and, and I'm in the ceiling. And then the next one says project uh, uh, rear ceiling. So this is if it's behind you upside down at the top. Yeah, cool. Keystone Advance, you could do manual. You could do the side uh, manual here. This is how you could just rotate it they do have an option there too on the on the thing which is very very minor but just depending on on if you want to like be very very specific with it you could actually do all kinds of stuff here now if you do want to i i've, I've been able to get some pretty good zooms if you want a digital zoom um this is how you can do it you can make this screen smaller because you're just like whoa this screen is way too big for my tv or for my wall and if you're just like you know you know what i want to have a 200 inch projector screen <laughs> you you can go as big as you want <laughs> there you go cool stuff cool stuff and was that the last option yeah that was the last option okay you also have other settings with other settings you got boot source so if i'm like hey every time i turn this thing off i want it to be my hdmi so let's go ahead and we're going to test that. We're going to turn it off. Typically with projectors, you have to hit the power once and it's going to say, are you sure you want to turn it off? Hit it again and it'll shut off. Now you have to wait and listen for the air to shut off because these things do get hot. You have to wait for the air to shut off. Now, when you turn it back on, you'll hear the air again and just give it a few seconds. There's some customer support stuff. Um, and there you go. Loading loading pretty nice I, I just like how this thing works now when you do turn on projector it does take a second for the lamps to heat up for them to warm up and then for the power to get pushed through and project um so you have to wait now this is my fire stick now if you notice like it, it opened up the the screen right there the the, the screen saver so i'm going to go back to the settings now and I'm going to leave that off because I don't know if I'm going to use my projector with my fire stick all the time. It's up to you. Now, you could do a standby. You could do a direct uh, with your power options. Typically, standby is fine. You could change your, your settings. Scheduled shutdown. Let's just say you're constantly like watching TV and you're just like, okay, by 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, midnight, I got to be in bed. That's how you do it. And yeah, those are the options right there. Um, pretty good if you want to do system updates with this stuff honestly i wouldn't even it it works it works unless they email me and say like hey we just added some apps to this thing like additional then i would just leave it alone um i do have a usb thing connected there if i click on movie um here is my thing here uh just you know my usb port and then i'm just gonna click on the movie So it's picking it up as a audio format, even though it is an MP4. It is a it's a movie file. 
So it might be, it might have to be like a MKV. I, I would double check on their site just in case you're adding movies to a USB to see what it is. But that is a movie file. And for some reason it's playing it as an audio. So if you have any kind of documents, this is where it's going to be at. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. And I'll do a video on how to do this uh, iOS casting and all that stuff. So that way you guys understand how it works. Yeah. With all that being said, hope you guys appreciated today's episode. I know, um, I, I know we all love projectors. This is a good one. You don't have to you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to get it. So let me know what you guys think. As always, you guys take care, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one.